David Carnes got our attention a few minutes ago, waving around that 99 degree number for Chattanooga. <laughs> yep. And yeah. promising what, a spark of lower humidity one day? Uh, just a little bit lower. We'll see the humidity dropping down a little bit. Temperature might fall a little bit as well. Won't be as stifling as it is today. It'll still be a little stifling though. Uh, Barrel is already a tropical storm, by the way. It's a tropical storm now uh, north of Houston. They are done with the rainfall, but boy, I lived in Houston for one year and whenever it would rain, a steady rain for an hour, and you've got streets flooding the way the city's designed. So, uh, tropical system, I remember tropical storm Allison dumped 20 inches of rain in the Houston area. This one is going to be, uh, it's a rough go for them for the next few days, weeks at least. It's going to continue lifting to the northeast, right through Little Rock as an area of low pressure. It'll be a big rainmaker. Moisture out ahead of that will come up into Chattanooga. We will see some spotty showers and thunderstorms, but that'll be about it. And then all of that moisture goes up into the northeast. So our headlines, muggy, maybe a few showers as early as tonight, dangerous heat and humidity with some spotty afternoon thunderstorms on Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday we'll see the humidity starting to go down. It'll be a little bit lower Thursday, and it's actually going to stay a little bit lower Friday through the weekend, but notice even with that lower humidity, we're going to see our highs in the mid to upper 90s, and it will be a scorcher nonetheless. 99 in Chattanooga, 95 Cleveland, 97 in Scottsboro, 97 in Calhoun and 96 in Athens. Dew points are in the 70s in many areas, 60s in others, 66 in Chattanooga. Uh, that's actually a good number. Uh, that's keeping our uh, heat index a little bit lower. Moving into tomorrow, 96 for the high, spotty showers and thunderstorms. But again, with the heat and humidity tapped in, we'll say it's going to feel like 105 and it will be in the low 100s, the heat index through the entire afternoon. Hopefully we can get one or two showers to cool us down, but typically that just makes it more muggy once they're over and done with. Well, notice that little bump in the humidity. That's what we're going to see through much of Wednesday. It will be late Wednesday into Thursday. We see that humidity going down, but when I say going down, it'll go from very muggy, oppressive types of humidity down into the humid range. So we'll see dew points going from the 70s into the 60s. That's okay. We'll take what we can get, but this is the, how it will manifest. Uh, looking at a high of 96 for Tuesday, it'll feel like 105. And then as we see the temperature going down a little bit, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, low 90s, we'll also see the heat index going down. So 90, it'll feel like 93. 93, it'll feel like 95. Back into the mid to upper 90s, but again with the humidity in the 60s, dew points in the 60s, uh, 96, 97, 98, and 100 for heat index. And then we'll see it uh, staying about the same Sunday and Monday as well. So on our radar, nothing doing. You don't have any rainfall out there. Uh, there to our west, you can see Tropical Storm Barrel, and we may again see a stray shower or two. Better chances for spotty showers and nothing severe, but maybe a rumble of thunder with some of those spotty areas of rain Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday. Tuesday evening. Wednesday, we clear it out, and that's where we'll see that slightly lower humidity settling in for Wednesday, Thursday, and then get ready for some hot, hot weather, mid to upper 90s. Notice after tomorrow, no chances of rain. Moderate drought conditions will not improve anytime soon.